Hello everyone, we are from True Maths, and in this video, we are going to discuss the second type. Where uh, again, this is a uh, this is based on the combination of two figures, but here one figure is inside the first figure, or you can say the uh, the second figure is inside the first figure. So the question says, from a solid cylinder whose height is 2.4 centimeter and diameter is 1.4 centimeter. Conical cavity of the same height and the same diameter is hollowed out. You have to find the total surface area of the remaining solid to the nearest centimeter square. Now, the question says we have a cylinder uh, this is the cylinder and the height of the cylinder is 2.4 centimeter this complete height is 2.4 centimeter and the diameter is 1.4 centimeter so here the complete diameter of this base is 1.4 centimeter now a conical cavity of the same height and same diameter is hollowed out means if this is a cylinder from here, if this is uh, completely filled with anything and from here with same base area and with same height, this conical cavity is taken out. When this conical cavity is taken out, you have to find the total surface area of this remaining solid. Now, one thing is important. What you have to do is, first of all, you have to form the formula to find out this. Now, the total surface area of this will be equals to, now, the total surface area basically means the surface which is visible to you. That will be included in total surface area. Now, if I consider this, this is a cello tape which is in a shape of cylinder and from this inside uh, inside this a conical cavity has been taken out so what uh, what are the surfaces surface area which is visible to you the first is this curved surface area the second is the area of this base if this is covered so area of base will be visible to you area of this curved surface area will be visible to you and from inside when cone is taken out and if I see inside this the shape of a cone will be visible to me and that surface is also visible to me that means I have to include that surface area also in total surface area of this complete figure so the total surface area of this will be this curved surface area curved surface area of the cylinder plus area of base area of base because this area is also visible to me plus the curved surface area of the cone because this cone is also visible when I see from the top so these are the total surface area surfaces which is visible to me and the formula is the curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi rh the area of the base is obviously the base will be a circle so that area is pi r square and the curved surface area of the cone is pi r l now we can take pi r common from all things so if i take pi and r as common so 2h will remain here but r will remain here and l will remain here so the pi the value of pi is 22 upon 7 radius here will be the diameter is 1.4 so the radius will be 1.4 by 2 because the radius is half of the diameter so the radius will be 1.4 upon 2 2 is multiplied by height and the complete height is 2.4 plus radius is again 1.4 divided by 2 and 
you need to find the slant height here. And how to find the slant height? For that, because this will be a right circular cone, so this will be a right angle triangle, where this height and this height will be same, which is 2.4 centimeter. And the radius and this radius will be again same, which is 1.4. So, again using Pythagoras theorem, I have to find this slant height. And Pythagoras theorem says the square of this will be equal to the square of and this uh, this radius is 1.4 by 2. So that will be equal to 0 0.7 square. Now L square will be equal to the square of 24 which is 2.4 is multiplied by 2.4. This is 16. This is 5.76. So this is 5.76. This is 49. This will be 0.49. The L square will be equal to 625. If I add this, this will be 6.25. And the L will be equal to under root 6.25. And the value of L will be 2.5. The under root of 625 is 25. And decimal will be placed after one digit. So this is how you can find out the value of L. Now I have, if I substitute the value of L here, which is 2.5, and if I solve this, I will get my answer here. This can be written as 20, 2 times, 10 times, and this will be equals to 22 upon 10. Bracket, this will be 8, this will be 4.8, this will be 0.7, and this will be 2.5. Now if I add this, uh, this 22 upon 2 will remain as it is. Now this is 4.8 plus 0.7 and plus 2.5. So this is 15 plus 5 is 20, carry 2, 2, 6 or 8. So this will be 0.8. If I multiply, so the total surface area of this toy will be around 17.6 centimeter square. So this is how you can solve this particular question. Again, this formula is important and that is only possible when you visualize this particular toy or you can say the particular figure. This is how you can solve this type of question. If you, if you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and in the next video we will solve the next uh, type of questions which might come in your exams. If you have any problem, you can write to us. The phone number, the email address and the WhatsApp number is given below in the description. Thank you.